Hello everyone, I'm Neon Fox Let's Plays, and welcome to Let's Play number 20. Well, it is time that I tell you all a story about the Joker and the Thief in the Night. Hello everyone, I am Neon Fox Let's Plays, here to introduce to you Let's Play number 20. And yes, this game just came out today. So, I'm actually going to be doing this first part completely blind. I've not played this before. So, yeah, this is kind of my first blind Let's Play, but only this part. I'm going to kind of, you know, play through first the other parts. But what game is that? That's right. The long awaited game. Seven years it took for us to finally get the fourth installment of the Sly Cooper series. So hello everyone, I am Neon Fox Let's Plays. Welcome to Let's Play number 20, Sly Cooper, or Sly 4, Thieves in Time. Without any further introduction, let's get started on the prologue of the game. I should probably just start at the beginning. The name Sly. Sly Cooper, and I'm a thief, from a long line of thieves. In fact, thieving is the family business, and business was good. Although, until recently, I considered myself retired. Having hung up my mask and cane, I was enjoying life on the other side of the law. In the company of a certain lovely Interpol agent named Carmelita Fox. She and I had a history, which generally involved her trying to lock me up. So, I should mention our current situation was only possible because she thought I had amnesia. I didn't. It was great to finally enjoy each other's company without a shock pistol being involved, and we quickly put the past behind us. But as time went on, the old itch came back, and I knew I needed to pull a heist. I should also mention that as a master thief, I only steal from other thieves. So it took me a while, but I finally found what I was looking for. My target was an upstart art mogul, a real hotshot collector. He seemed respectable, had even opened a new museum. But I could smell a rat. Reliable sources told me he was dealing in black market antiques worth millions. So I felt he should share the wealth. I was working on a plan when one night, as if on cue, Bentley showed up. Bentley was the brains of our operation, the mastermind. We grew up in the same orphanage where we bonded over stealing cookies, our very first heist. And we've been best friends and partners ever since. We had not seen each other for a while, but I knew immediately that something was up. been enjoying his time off too, building a new lab from scratch with his girlfriend and fellow tech whiz, Penelope. She had joined the team on our last caper, and the two of them had really hit it off. Apparently they just finished work on a top secret project when Penelope had simply vanished. Bentley was worried sick. He searched frantically, but found nothing. Then, he noticed something that completely stunned him. In his spare time, Bentley had been researching the Devious Raccoonus, the Master Thieves' handbook passed down through the Cooper family for generations. Its pages overflowing with the exploits and secret techniques of my esteemed ancestors. Only now, those pages weren't so full. In fact, they were disappearing right before Bentley's eyes. Realizing there was no time to waste, he gathered his gear and raced off to Paris. The first thing Bentley did was track down Murray, the third in our trio. Murray was our enforcer, the muscle, and the guy who'd eaten all the cookies we stole back in our orphanage days. Through the years, the three of us had become an unbeatable team and we were more like a family now than a gang. Murray had been living his dream on the pro driving circuit, where his van had become famous, or rather infamous, for all the crashes he'd caused. 
Eventually, he was unable to find a sponsor due to his high insurance premiums, and he moved into Demolition Derby, where he remained undefeated. When Bentley showed up, however, Murray dropped everything to help out. Especially when Bentley explained that his van was the key to the whole plan. With Carmelita distracted by a new assignment, I took the opportunity to slip away and met up with the guys at our old Paris hideout. Bentley launched into one of his elaborate presentations, and I saw the whole scary picture. Someone, or something, was literally erasing Cooper history. Then, to our amazement, Bentley revealed that he already had the solution. Time travel. It turns out his top secret project was constructing a time machine. And now he modified the design to fit into Murray's van. We were going to travel back in time, stop those responsible, and fix the damage they'd done. Bentley explained the only catch was that in order to travel to a particular time, the machine required an object from that era. We knew from the changes to the Thievius Raccoonus that our first stop was feudal Japan. So here we were, about to steal a priceless 17th century samurai dagger from the same museum I'd been casing. Funny how things work out sometimes. up aloud. Now stop worrying. This is gonna be a piece of cake. I'll see you both inside. Now let's get going. <laughs> Holy piss, that scared me. All right, do I, do I get to play? Do I get to play? Yeah! Slide four! Okay! <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to let my inner eight-year-old out because I can't believe it! It's the fourth game! I seriously just came back from the store getting this. So here it is, guys. Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Oh, holy as always don't get caught if you get caught you're done so i'm gonna do my best to explain it even though this is completely blind bentley i know this already i've been waiting seven years i think i know how to jump yes so pretty much the controls for this game are the same from Sly 1, Sly 2, and Sly 3. So if you are familiar with those games, you can jump into this game straight away. I looked at the controls because they're in the game case. So I was kind of happy. I'm like, oh, cool. Nothing has really changed. Except for maybe a few minor things, but nothing really much. But man, the game looks amazing, doesn't it? And I need to jump up there. Perfect. Oh, uh, great. Um, the camera's inverted. That, this is going to be fun. Because here's something. When it comes to inverted cameras, I'm like a monkey with a Rubik's Cube. A monkey who can't solve a Rubik's Cube with a Rubik's Cube. So pretty much all the moves from... That's how I pull up some of my yeah. best moves. Exactly. Show me your moves. So the controls for this are pretty much the same if you've ever played the beginning intros for Sly 2 and Sly 3. And obviously, you shouldn't get caught by that, because if you get caught by that, then you're going to go to jail. And if you're going to go to jail, you're going to have to meet some guy named Bubba, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to have to deal with him. And we all know how that's going to end. It's going to end with a lot of bruises and black eyes. And 
other stuff, but I don't want to talk about that because Sly 4! And yes, I'm going to refer to it as Sly 4 because it is the fourth game, but of course I will say in the beginning, Beans in Time, because that is what this is called. So this is essentially just the basic, you know, start again. And of course we're starting, of course, in Pali. You always have to have a level in Pali, except in uh, Sly 3, so not every game. <laughs> Nope! <laughs> Who cares about the plan? Uh, no reason. Anyway, because you look like he's in position now. Okay, perfect. Make sure you stay on these cables, you Because if you fall down, did I just not mention down. Bubba? Not it's, a problem. It's belly, we know this shit! Prefers to stay above the action anyway. So, for those who have never played Sly Cooper before, like let me give a general introduction. Rest. Because it is the perfect night for the heist. Basic stuff. You press the circle button. You can get up onto these things. You can climb up poles. You can run across wires. And... Ooh, fuck. That scared me too, Sly. Uh, of course, pressing the square button will swing your cane. I pressed the triangle button earlier if you saw it. It charges your cane for a swing, which is something that disappeared in Sly 3. And of course, here we have a map here. Just kind of wanted to pull this up to see what it is. But in Sly 3, you had to actually pay for it. But it seems like, uh, as in Sly 2, we actually get the charge up power back. And yay, the Binocchiacom! The Binocchiacom! It's made its glorious return, although it's controlled by the right stick instead of the left stick, which does kind of piss me off. And <gasps> I hear I hear a little bit of Sly 2 music, and Security Sly just spied on someone's shower. Steer clear of the guards and lights. Avoid sprinting around the guards, too. They'll hear your footsteps. It's, it's the general stuff that if you've ever played Sly Cooper sure before, you know how this works. Business. Oh yeah, these chests are fucking gigantic. Why are there just random chests lying around? I'm not gonna really complain. Uh, I don't believe we're gonna get golden horseshoes. Although that would be really interesting if that made a return. I have no idea why it would, but I don't know. It'll shock us some way. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, I, you'll see the surprise later on, but some things have returned, and it's some things that I'm really fucking happy have returned. Oh my goodness. Whoa, shit. I didn't even press the circle button. Really that was too close. Well, jeez. So, essential, basic, easy way, you know, through this area. Don't press that button. So don't worry, guys. I got this. <laughs> Jesus does not need to take the wheel. Or Murray does not need to take the wheel. I got this. Because... Like I said, I'm playing blind, but, you know, this is the prelude level. It's not going to be that difficult. And, uh, ah, I don't know where to j Oh, that, okay. Hmm, are you fucking up? Let's see how long it takes me to get caught. No, wait, wait, wait! Oh, my... <sighs> what did I just say? Wow! Okay, I'm really sorry. I'm rusty. Who told you it would be a piece of cake? Oh, <laughs> Ziploc! Hi, yo, Zip! And there's a bit of lag right there, jeez. And I love how no guards is just like, oh, what the fuck was that? A, a power line just got down. No concern, but whatever. And oh boy. And that wasn't loud at all. Guess I'm a little out of practice. <laughs> no, really. I'm out of practice, too, though. I haven't played since I did that Let's Play of Sly 3. Uh, no. All good here, Bentley. Okay. It looks like you're going to have to find another way up. Use that ledge to move around to the front of the museum and stay out of that security light. I think I can. Basically, do what the normal shit that you do. And for some reason, I can hear my audio cracking like fucking crazy. I can't believe the security at this place. This better be worth it. Ooh, well, aren't we saving some shit? Isn't it always worth it? I mean, come on, Sly. This is furry leverage. And, uh, ooh, who's that? Oh, we got some people in there. Oh, hey, it's one of the silhouette figures from the promos. Mmm, you can see his silhouette on my channel. I wonder who that is. I really fucking don't know, by the way. I have no fucking clue. Like I said, it's about 11.05, so I, and the GameStop opens at 10. So I pretty much just got home and, sure and playing like this. Somebody spent a fortune on this place. 
museum. I wonder what kind of surprises they have inside. Well, we can find out, but maybe it'd be best not to find out, because, well, again, I'm fucking tired of repeating this. Let's just get a lot of coons. I don't know what happens if you get on her, unless ThiefNet makes a return. Oh, please, God, tell me ThiefNet makes a return. I'm betting it does, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of upgrades that you're going to have to get. Of course, there are new upgrades in this game that have been spoiled, but I don't want to say what they are just yet. Pie is not that easy to make. Have you ever fucking tried to make pie? I tried to make blackberry pie, and I fucked up so badly. Blending in blackberries is kind of a hard fruit to cook. Maybe it's just me. And of course, staple of since slide two, pickpocketing. And just friendly, just like, fuck this, I got this, man. Murray, give me the wheel. I got this. Like that. And we get, oh, we get the, still, the Batman words, pow, slam. Also, does anyone else think that that key is fucking gigantic? Why is it so fucking big? Are we living in like Lazy Town World where everything has to be fucking gigantic? Oh, I'm in place. Let me know when you shut down the security system. Patient Sly, you can't rush greatness, and I'm about to code a hacking masterpiece. Oh yeah, Family the Turtle. Let's get our turtle on. Now I'm gonna be honest. My uh, these sewers, I was just a teenager. Doing what? You're fucking Belly the Turtle. My mom should make short work of that great. I what were you doing down here? Life. Reading your mangas? Well, that was a blast. <laughs> reading Sailor Moon? Ugh. I had a friend from college who made me watch Sailor Moon. It's just such a bad hand. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, well, Bentley's controls are pretty much the same since slide three. Who Almost at slow. Whoa! Whoa! What, was this game recorded on the VHS? Okay, well, I fucked up, but that's pretty interesting how they work it. I kind of like how they did it there with that. I guess the time is the whole time theme, that you can rewind time. Wasn't there a video game that did it? Did that? I don't remember what it was called, but fucking cool. But uh, a lot of people, you know, if you've seen my Let's Plays before, I do have a general dislike of Bentley. I'm going to say this, though. From what I've seen, I think Bentley has earned my liking. Bentley, you're a cool person. That's a big job. I better use the hover pack here. If I jump, All right, easy. press and hold the exit. Oh, I let go. My jets will let me glide a long way. All right, let's try that again. All right, so we get the hover pack back from the third game. I really hope that means we get the paraglide still. Or do we have to purchase it again? Because that's going to be annoying. We really hope we just get the paraglide immediately. Well, we already got the Atlas jump with uh, Murray, I'm sure. Because that was carried over from right, slide two to slide three. Blocked. I'll have to throw a bomb to clear it up. Alright. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Sorry, I'm not letting them talk, but I mean, it's basic stuff yeah, from slide three and two. I didn't even know that could be possible, but okay. Yeah. I bet there's gonna be a lot of shell related jokes with that meat. Oh, please, God, don't tell me that one. That's gonna get annoying really <laughs> Alright, um, those trains are freaking me out because I feel like they're gonna move. I don't know, I'm having saw blade nightmares from slide two and three. Because those are things I always got hurt on. Saw blades are just deadly and they scare the shit out of me. Ooh, shit, 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 shit. Alright, well, we, we're doing fairly well right here. Uh, and we got a lot of so we got a lot of coinage here. I'd say recommend picking up a lot. I know I'm kind of stalling with getting a lot of these coins, but, I mean, come on! It's slide four. Let me enjoy this. I'm after all. I'm doing this blind. Oh, let me guess. We're at the bomb. The control room is right underneath me. I really like the new icon. All I have to do is find a way in. Some explosives should do the trick. All right. Instant shortcut. Perfect. All right. So we don't have to venture forward. We can just go down here. Go, Bentley. Go. Phew. Talk about your close shapes. I don't want to say this because this is 2013, but that was some serious smart. Perfect. I'll be done in a jiffy. In case you haven't noticed, 
<laughs> We're all fucking rusty as shit. This is not just limited to Slime Bentley. It's probably gonna be Murray. And it's definitely me! My voice just went up Thanks in the aisle register. Fly the sewer job. Mm -hmm. You're a fucking turtle, there's water. Well, he, he's, he can't swim. Ooh, can I pickpocket? Ooh, I like the new pickpocket shit! That guy has something shiny, but I assume that there's nothing really much of value right now. Um, can I get this? 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 Ah! You know what? Fuck it! They only die in one hit?! Damn, I don't know what Murray's gonna do. He's gonna destroy them. Oh yeah, and that's right, we got these new loading screens here that are probably gonna annoy the crap out of me. Hello, oh damn! Friend. Oh damn! What is this, man? We just went from RuneScape to, like, Dot Hack Sign. Why am I making anime references? I didn't watch that shit. Alright, well, apparently this is Bentley's new hacking station, and it looks fucking awesome. I'm glad that the hacking levels are making a glorious, glorious return. We haven't seen them since Slide 3. Oh, no, Slide 2. We have them in Slide 2. We have them, but we haven't seen them since Slide 3, but they've been present in every single game. Only once in Slide 1, but still. Basic controls from the last game. Left analog stick is moving, right is firing. So it's all basic, very simple stuff. You can move while shooting. It's basic Sly Cooper hacking 101. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know if he can move in while it's still shocking there. I don't want to try. So we need to get the hands on him. Okay. If I use that upgrade slot, I can engage my Panzer code. Panzer! I don't even know what that means. So anyways, let's get this code. Oh, oh. Hey guns, baby. Those so I guess we need to destroy these firewall crystals right here. That is awesome, dude. I can probably destroy those, but moving ahead. We're gonna move on up. Moving on up. We have security drones in the last fucking area, Bentley! Calm the shit down! What time are we- Oh my god, dude, we are- Fuck! This beats all the other Sly Cooper prelude levels, which I can usually beat in like under 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We're all over 20 minutes! Shit, this thing is long! I see promising things for this game, people. Now I just destroyed that shit. Alright, we're gonna need to change the code. In order to uh, get the data key, because apparently we can't get it in the Panzer Code mode. Panzer Code mode, doo doo doo. It's all awesome. All right, perfect. Let's get out of here, dude. That's awesome. I love the new hacking levels. What is this? And these, okay, these are probably gonna know me. Arpeggio, leader of the mastermind. Dude, we know this. I played through Sly Two. The fuck are you? T I don't need that. Get this fucking shit out of my face! I haven't even started to collect the bottles to see bottles make returns, safes, masks, and that's they all make the returns. Way the code base crumbles. <laughs> okay, Murray, you're up. The Murray is always on Bentley. <laughs> oh yeah, Murray time. The Murray. Oh, well, Murray the Brown. There's a the there. There's a the. Okay, Murray, we need to get you back. What the to fuck was face. that? Why don't you warm up? Did he? Okay, okay, Murray, basic controls, you can just destroy the shit out of enemies, just punch them and fuck them over, you got thunder flop, you got spin attacks, you got everything, but what the fuck fell out of his pocket? He's not even wearing pockets! Actually, kind of does, which is kind of stupid. But, what the fuck was that? Did he seriously pull out a branch of broccoli? And I just got hit. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have trouble with the camera on this, aren't I? Let me. Uh, 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 uh. Don't. I hurt you. You do not hurt me. I am the protagonist of this game. This is my let's play. I got this. I almost feel sorry for you guys. As I take on damage. Oh god, it feels good to play as the Murray again. I don't care who you are, but if you don't like the Murray, I don't even know. The Murray's fucking awesome. He is the literal Ed of the Psycho Brigade. I don't know if the others are Double D and Eddie, but he's definitely the Ed. 
and I mean that in the nicest way possible, because Ed is awesome. Dude, someone should get very buttered toast. Can I stop being fucking hit? Because I mean, I swear to God, these fucking things are annoying as shit! Okay, why is it just the irony of rats being contamination control? I didn't fucking let me kill you! This is the prologue! How am I fucking up? I'm really rusty, man. I should have played Sly 3 last night before I got this game. Although, that would have really not helped my anxiety... anxiety but anxiousness for this game. Because, like, last night I was seriously bothering my friend. Like, every hour, the next hour, just being like, It's 11 hours! 10 hours! And then I woke up and I'm like, It's two and a half hours now! At the store, 30 minutes! And of course, as soon as it became 10 o'clock, I'm like, Okay, the store better open. The store's open. Gotta help you back by! Susan was talking in with him before, and I just hung up on him. <laughs> so I'm very sorry, Shiznit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, can I just kill you all? Dude, why am I being hit? I feel like I'm retarded. Like, am I fighting with flippers on? That analogy doesn't even make any sense. But I got through. Somehow. Okay. Oh, Where did you well. come from, short stuff? Why do they all look the same? They're like Oompa Loompas, but creepier. Actually, I don't know how that's possible. I don't think it is. Wait. Wait, do- Oh! There's gonna be button mashing? Oh, boy. That is fucking awesome. Awesome. So that was really hard to clap. Uh, That's actually really easy to clap with the PS3 controller in your hand. Now it is. We're all Murray, fucking up. Hey, <laughs> Murray, did you know that you can throw? Oh. oh, cool, it locks on. Alright, so we just gotta break this. It's like a la slide 2, and I just glitched through the broken container, but it's broken, so. Uh, the other one's over here. I probably should destroy that one first. I love it didn't even make the crashing sound. Okay, Sly, the security great. system is down. You're all clear. Great. I'm going in. All right. Really? I need to hit a button to steal this. What, am I going to say no? I'm not going to steal this? I had a change of heart? What the? You didn't really think you were going to get away with it, did you, Ringtail? Oh, <laughs> Hey, Carmelita! Oh, funny meeting you here. Sly Cooper, you're no good lying thief. I'm locking you up for good. Sorry, gotta take a rain check. I'll call you. Cooper! Good evening, this is Sly Cooper. I'd like to request a ride. Hey, Sly! Now quit zapping around and get down here! We're in the van! Ready to roll! Well, time to leave! <laughs> Took a while, 30 fucking minutes. Let's hit it! Buckle up, boys! I'm on the roof, I can't! Just like in a demolition derby! And... Yeah. I have my driver's license, people. Watch out for those trees! Watch out for the trees! Let's watch out for everything fucking else! Like the museum, the cars, the people, the cars! The helicopters? The cars? Nice landing, Murray. Hey, Bentley, not to complain, but we're kind of trapped here. Relax, Sly. Just put the dagger in the receptacle. Perfect. Isotopic decay calendar. Oh, God. Are they going to pull a Back to the Future? You want to punch it, Murray? Like, I'm not going to. They're going to pull a Back to the Future. It's a DeLorean! 